is another Dollar Tree calendar DIY. Keep watching. All right, if you take a look in the little card up top, you'll see that this was a project I have done previously. I'm gonna link that for you so you can watch and see all the details of how I put the original project together. Now I'm just flipping through another one of these calendars from Dollar Tree and choosing another picture that I wanna use. And I think I'm gonna use the little red truck. It was a toss up between that and the pumpkins. I'm gonna remove the wires that I have that are holding the little bouquet in the side because we're going to change this out with something different. So you better keep watching to see how that turns out. I'm just carefully unwinding this so I can take it out without tearing my little burlap pouch. All right, so we're gonna turn it over, undo the little binders in the back, and lift this off. The front of this is plexiglass rather than glass. So if you have glass, be very, very careful here. Just gonna set that aside and begin to remove this picture. In the first video, you can see that I put this down with some spray adhesive, the picture itself, and you're gonna see the mess and how I do it differently in just a moment. Just taking the jute off that I had on there before. We're just gonna use something different to trim it this time. The spray adhesive is from Dollar Tree, so if you're wondering on how well it sticks down, take a look at this. I'd say it works pretty well. In retrospect, I probably could have just left this on here and just went right over the top, but I didn't know if that black would show through on the lighter sections of the new picture that I've chosen, so I went ahead and tore off as much as I could remove. So see, it was between those two. Eh, I'm kind of a crazy pumpkin lady and I have pumpkins everywhere in my decor. So I thought, why not the little red truck? Are you a fan of the little red truck? Okay, so I've chosen the Autumn Harvest Homegrown. This time I'm going to use double stick tape. I don't want to use glue or Mod Podge because it will show the lines that are on the back, that grid that's on the back. I don't want that to show. So I'm just going to use my double stick tape and put it down. There's a little, I don't know, residue from the picture that didn't come off that's on the edge for some reason. So I'm just taking this little nail file from Dollar Tree and just kind of filing that off. The hole in the top can be easily fixed with a white chalk pen. So I'm just gonna fill that one in. You can barely see it now. I tried to decide whether I wanted to use the original jute again. I also tried some orange jute and some ribbon that had some burlap in it, but I thought that this black, I think it's a satin ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. I think it works better. It makes a great frame and it looks good with the, the dark, bold lettering on the side. So I'm just using, again, dots of glue at the top and the bottom. So when I decide to redo this, it can be easily removed without tearing my backing up. Easy enough. And don't worry about the uneven edges there because I'll clean that up in just a moment. And just trimming those off. I think there's a way that you can use a lighter to kind of heat bind the edges, but I didn't have a lighter down there, so I'll just make it work like this. It shouldn't fray too much inside the frame, and it'll be indoors, so it should be fine. So to make a more finished edge, I've wrapped that ribbon around the top and the bottom, just around the edge of the frame, and used a little hot glue to 
keep it in place. I'm gonna be doing that on the top and the bottom. I hope everybody has been able to find these calendars. I know it's been kind of hit and miss in my areas and I was late getting them, but I am very, very happy with the ones that I did get. And of course, the next time they come out with some beautiful calendars like this, I will be buying extras so that I can share them with other people. So I think a lot of people missed out on these. If you don't have these particular ones that I've used, you can always use something else that you like in here. Or maybe even print your own sign. You could use a piece of wrapping paper or anything. So I think it looks nice and finished now. You can go ahead and set that back down in the frame and fix the fasteners back. And again, for details on how to make this bow and how to do the original project, just follow the link and you can see the original. All right, so now I've got to find something to put over here in my side. And I have some thrifted, a thrifted pick with a bunch of different size pumpkins and some, some autumn leaves. And I'm just going to put that in there and use a piece of matching pipe cleaner or Chanel stem. You can use floral wire, you can use um, any scraps of wire, anything that you want to use to hold it down in your little pocket. And this works for me. You don't want to use anything that's too heavy because it will pull the pocket down and your, your floral pick will like flop forward when you try to hang it up. So you want to be sure that it's kind of lightweight and you could always use a little bit of um, hot glue or something on the back, just a few dots to maybe hold that to the frame. It's not going to stick to that plexiglass or the glass. You know, hot glue does not stick well to that stuff, but it will stick to your frame or to your burlap pocket if you need to do that. Then I have another piece of a pick that I believe came from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna add that in the places where it looks like it needs a little extra oomph. Also, this particular pick had some pumpkins that had fallen off and you'll see me just put um, those back on there. If you have something thrifted, be sure that you pick out the berries that look like they've been picked away by birds. If they're white or sad looking, just go ahead and take that off because you want your you want your projects to look high end and um, unique and maybe that boutique look. Then you'll need to remove the things that clearly show that they're old and used. So this pumpkin, in order to make it sit down, I've just decided to cut one piece of it off and put some hot glue on it. And I'm gonna glue it in the middle of my bow. And that is going to complete this project. So this is a makeover from my original sunflower calendar makeover. And I used thrifted items and you'll just have to see how that, how that first one turned out because it was really pretty. But this one will give it a run for its money, I think. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe. I have lots more ideas and I, I love farmhouse rustic style. So if it's what, that's what you like, then you be sure that you stick around so you can see more of that through the holidays and then beyond. Thanks for subscribing and for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you're still into that red truck, if you're loving the nice cooler weather. We'll see you again soon.